Ah, theme for literacy. Dracula knows how I how important it is for children to find joy in the magic of books. Dracula's primarily into two things, drinking human blood and reading books. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be loaded with cash. Okay, that's how it works. Hey, man. More money for me. I don't need jewels. Alright. Let's check out the equipment. Oh, I can afford some nice stuff here. The diamond breast. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Dia Bresto. It's kind of hard to decide what to buy, you know? I can afford the metal or the pearl ring. I'm gonna get the pearl ring. And the Dia. And now we're ready to rock. Thank you, sir. And I have a medal. I can wear them both. Oh, we're rocking it now. I'm so pimped out. Now we gotta go get the soul of the bat. Okay, whoop. Hey, do. Hello. Hello, gruesome plant with a human head. Oh, I'm already feeling bad about this room. This Fleeman guy cannot take a hint. Okay. Kind of a boss. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm like hemmed in by books. Are you just gonna do one damage at a time to me? Is that how this is gonna, how this is gonna pan out? Oh, I missed real bad. Yo. I'm in a little trouble. Okay, you're dead. There you go. You did it. And there it is, the bat signal. Alright. How do I turn into a bat? Like that. That's a huge bat. Like, that's like, you better call the exterminator, because yow. What is the deal? Dracula, what were you thinking when you built this place? Like, it doesn't make a lot of architectural sense. Where are all the... Like... Make it wheelchair accessible or something. Yeah, turn that on. That's a familiar, right? Is it the fairy familiar? Ah, oh, look at her! Ah, oh, she's so cute! Come with me, fairy. We're going places, you and me. I like your Mihai boots. By the way, what is your function? Like, what do you do? Like, do something. Can you do something about the enemies? Help me out a bit? Like, I'm doing all the work. Oh, buddy! Stop with your kicking! Oh, you're very violent. Okay. Oh, thanks for the thanks for the souvenir from down under. All right. Up you go, my little bat friend. What? Is, what's everybody's opinion of? I didn't even look at what I picked up. Um, uh, bats. Like, I'm not a fan. There are a lot of bats around where I live, especially in the summertime, like in the park at night when I'm coming home from work. Those boots looked like high tops. Here, show me these boots. Yes, it is. And yes, it totally looks like a basketball sneaker. All right, we got the gravy grabs. Um, Fairy, I'm waiting for you to do something useful. You want to get in this coffin with me? No. Nope. Yeah, I don't blame you. You're pretty big for a fairy. Why does it say that I haven't gone down? Oh, it's not on the map. <gasps> oh. Why doesn't the map fill in? Okay, that's weird. Dracula, I'm not really convinced that your castle is completely up to code. Are you sure you didn't, like, commit a few building violations? Like, do we need to report your ass to the commission? What is that? It's the holy breastplate. Well, how does it stack up against the diamond breastplate? I hope it's not better than that, because I spent a lot of money on this. No, it's not better than the diamond one. 
It's it's a tremendous castle. It's one of the best. It's very good. I got guys in armor running around with knives, kicking you. Oh, you burned your foot, did ya? Burned your little tootsies. Dracula is one of the best vampires. He's a very good vampire. Look at you guys. Look at you chumps walking around on the ground like that. Deep doing your little walking on the ground stuff. Yeah, well, I'm above all that. Literally. I'm a bat. What are you? Merman. Hey, I saw a couple of your brothers in, this, in the uh, warp room with their junk hanging out. You might want to have a word with them. If you have any influence over your merman brethren, <laughs> give them a little talk about uh, indecent exposure and what it means to them. Hello, cold lady. Yeah, everybody knows bats love mushrooms. I actually don't like mushrooms that much, you know? Kind of overrated. Do you ever think about it? When you eat a mushroom, you're eating all this, like... Mushrooms are made of dead things, you know? <laughs> dead things, man. Ah. Wait, secret boots? Isn't that Japanese for elevator shoes? Like, the shoes that make you look taller? I think those are called secret boots. What are they? Show me the secret boot. Where are the secret boots? Here they are. It, it literally says it'll make you taller and no one will suspect a thing. Is that something I need? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -dow. This is totally unrelated, but I was watching uh, Jurassic Park 3 on TV. There's a scene where um, they're on a boat and they look in the water and they see some fish. And Sam Neill looks at the fish and he says, Bonitos. Bonito is a kind of fish. But whoever did the uh, the transcript for the subtitling didn't know what a bonito is. And fair enough, it's not the most famous famous of fish names in English. But this person didn't know bonitos. B o n i t o. So they and he's Sam Neill. So his pronunciation is not great. You know, he's from New Zealand. Give him a break. He's like. Bonitas. And the subtitle said Bonitas. Da. <laughs> like Bonitas. Da. And they never explain what a Bonitas is because it's not what he says. And I was like, you fucked it up. Once in a while, you find something like that in a movie that's been translated to Japanese where it's like the person who did the transcript for the translator, whose job it was to write down the English that's being spoken, didn't really understand what was being spoken. Another example is in the movie, uh, The Departed, when Jack Nicholson's chilling with those prostitutes, and he says, want some cocaine? Here it is, and he throws it. In the subtitle, it says, want some cocaine? Here, Liz. Like, yeah, these, instead of here it is, because the person who did the transcript thought he was saying the name Liz, like the prostitute's name is Liz. Anyway. Uh? Nightmare? I don't remember this. <gasps> My mom? Yeah, I'm here. Mother, I'm here to save you. No, Alucard. Don't come close. But, but, Mama. It's fine. If if my death will bring happiness, then no. I'm sorry. Uh, I've just been causing you hassles all the live long day. Uh, listen to my final words. Hate humans. So stay what? Kill them? Ah. Uh. Who have you been talking to? She wants me to kill her now. Who are you? You're not my mother. Oh, is this the succubus? Uh-huh. You old hornbag. 
I'll make you my plaything. <laughs> Alright. I'm just here to hit you in the boobs and be gone. Prepare your boobs. Okay, you got some kind of s some bullshit happening. Okay. Oh, you're doing one damage, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm having a little trouble. Okay. I found you. You're not wearing any pants, I just noticed. Put some pants on. Oh, maybe in the next life you can put some pants on. <coughs> because I'm Alucard, dummy. Like, what do you think this is? Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Be wander lost forever, I guess. That was fun. Thanks for the ring. Oh, how did I remember that? Yeah. Oh, that's your 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 purpose is to tell me that it looks like there's something to find a secret. All right, I'll let you do that. <clears throat> you can have that job. Hello, Mr. Riverman. Oh, if you say so, he's like, I'll take you where you should go. And I'm just gonna take his word for it. Oh! The holy... S that looked like a snorkel. Holy symbol. It's a snorkel. Konami. I... Alright, well, at least I don't take damage from the water anymore. Thanks for the holy symbol, which is a tube that I breathe through. Ouch! Why would bats hurt a vampire? Sorry, I know he's not like a vampire full-on vet. He's like a dumb peel. What is that? The knuckle. Sounds weak as shit. Why would I want that? I've already got knuckles. They came with my hands. Kinda comes with the whole hands deal. Oh, Scylla? Is it the boss? Yeah. Oh, God! You're disgusting and repulsive, you know that? Okay, you're dead. What's that all about? Was that a boss? Oh, is this the boss? Scylla is supposed to be half woman, half bullshit. Oh, I want that right down there. Uh. Okay. What? Is this the boss? Yeah, this looks more Scylla like. Yeah, this is right between the Scylla and the Charybdis. Charybdis was a whirlpool. Yo! Could you not? I'll burn your ass. See how you like that. Oh, yo. Alright, there's a little bit too much happening in this boss fight. Wouldn't want to be ya. Are you a lady without arms? Is that what your problem is? She looked like she had no arms. Well, I guess we'll never know, because she's gone. What do we got over here? Hmm. Invisible. It's just called invisible. Ooh, stat increases, eh? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yummy meat. Way better than rancid meat. And a scimitar. That didn't look like a scimitar. How's the offensive power on that bad boy? Not great. Oh, watch out! Roly-poly fish heads. It's literally called fish head. 
フィッシュヘッドですご覧くださいフィッシュヘッドおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおブレイクブリッジ。Just figured it out. Come here. Come here, Dinky Kang. Where's your friend Sanic? Do you have any more barrels or what? You're out of barrels, aren't you? You're just doomed to wallow in misery without a barrel. Okay. Come over here. Come on, Danky Kang. It's Liu Kang's brother, Danky. Or he goes to Germany and they're like, Danke Gang. Boosh! There you go. Thanks, buddy. You, you'll never know how much I love you. An abandoned pit to the catacomb. Sounds real cozy. I'm going right into the doggy mouth. Wait, where do I save, though? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh-uh. It's Kerberos. Hello, doggy. Ah. Oh. oh, you got me. You got me real good there, pooch. Cute little pooch. Maybe I got a milk bone. Oh, okay. No cheesing this dog. This is a strictly non-cheesed dog. Non-cheesable dog. Oh, he, he's got reeds. Did you see that? All right, I don't like this infinite combo you've got going. And he makes the same wolfy noise that those wolves at the beginning made and life max up! Dang, look at the boobannies on these pillars. <laughs> boobannies. <laughs> achievement unlocked, Twitch achievement unlocked, say boobannies during a stream. Oh, there's a different fairy, or is it the imp? Some some other familiar will go up and click that button for me, but I don't think I have it yet. Listen, vaguely sexy magic lady in a bathrobe. I won't be having any more of your nonsense. Oh, uh... Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this enemy. <laughs> he causes a real nuisance. Cute noises. Is this a meal ticket? Kwakuma no essence, I think is what that character means. I don't remember how to pronounce it. Moto? Kwakuma no moto? That's weird. That sounds like a cooking ingredient. Alright. Hold it. Hold it, sweet cheeks. Let the imp take over. Yeah, let's let's do it. Uh, are you not the one who hits the switch? Do I need to like go and come back? Yeah. Yes. Thanks. Thanks for hitting that switch, buddy. Okay, your work is done. Back to sweet cheeks. Huh, grapes. Oh no. Oh, hello, sexy plant. Yo, this is a bad. I was about to, you know, sexy plant, but you look kind of like a prepubescent girl. I'm not really sure about it anymore. That's Japan for ya. This is a nuisance, this thing. Oh, axed. You got axed. Remember that part of Parappa the Rapper where he's like, I got to go just as bad as you. What I had this morning, I don't even want to say to you. I'm like, what did you have this morning? 
Was it diarrhea? I think it was that. I think he's talking about diarrhea. This isn't the scary music. This is. Wapanza skeleton. War Panther? Wear Panther. This guy's carrying the Ark of the Covenant. Except it's the evil Ark. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna fall for that. And he's like, I'm out of here! Welcome to Dracula's Secret Underground Dance Club! This is the area where you fight the, uh, my favorite boss in the game. Grand Falloon. Uh, the Grand Falloon, which, not my favorite boss because of, like, the way it's designed or anything. Just because... It's, uh, the only boss named after something from a Kurt Vonnegut novel. <laughs> is there a save room? I'm afraid to go through the door. Okay. Oh, I'm laying waste to all kinds of human remains. Yikes. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Great. Gravedigger? I already fought you. Oh, that's, uh, that's really something. Okay, buddy. Um, buddy. What is this? Okay, you're dead. Whoa, buddy. You certainly know how to make a dramatic exit. Got the Phantom of the Opera mask. Ugh. Critical hit! Yeah! He was moonwalking on fire, did you see that? Just like Michael Jackson in the 80s. Save room though, how about it? Ugh. How about now? Uh oh. Grand Falloon, I think. Yep. Now here's the deal with Grand Falloon, he's, he's made of corpses. And in the Kurt Vonnegut... By the way, he's called Legion, which is Legion in Japanese, but... It's really morbid. But, uh, in... According to Kurt Vonnegut, a Grand Falloon... ...is a group of people with no meaningful connection to each other. Yet, who try to find... A ...commonality. Which is something that people do, like... Like, saying, like, all us left-handed people gotta stick together. Left-handed people are a grand falloon. Okay. This, uh, this is actually quite a big battle. Body parts and shit? Yo. I'm not up for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The pounds are melting away. Okay, buddy, I didn't know you were gonna be firing beams. He's loving it. So gruesome. Can I stand on this? Nope. Big old noper on that. This is a whole lot of naked people. A little more than I'm used to, okay? Oh, I'm exposing his... his essence. Ah. Oh, that does a lot of damage. I really wish I had the axe. The axe is clearly the superior weapon for this fight. Hey, 
<laughs> He's dead! And his whole army of corpses comes crashing down around him. It is the most original of boss designs in... Probably in the entire Castlevania series. Like, it's not taken from... A horror movie, it's not a wolfman, it's not from mythology, it's just a ball of corpses. And look at this room! Holy shit! Okay, back to the technos. Hmm. The boss is fun to fight, too. It's just fun. It's fun to do all that damage and hit all- it's, it's just satisfying, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a good boss. He's a good boss. Best boss I ever worked with. Grand Falloon. What a guy. Imagine working with Grateful. <laughs> You're like, what's the code to the photocopier? And he's like, I'm a ball of corpses. <laughs> oh, there's the safe room. <laughs> it's fine. <clears throat> oh, look who it is. Yo, you didn't do that last time we talked. I, I want to go past. See you later. Get out of my way, Jesus wearing a hat. Oh my god, that guy's really pumped. I love how all the warp rooms are inconvenient. It's like, no matter where you're going, there's never like a perfect warp room for it. Yeah, you just bounce your way down the hall, buddy. I just called a spiky ball buddy. And he's like, I'm not your buddy, pal. Well, yeah, well, I'm not your pal, friend. Well, I'm not your friend, bro! Uh, <laughs> look at this! Get in there, buddy! Hmm. Man, imagine if you were... Dracula, and you had to take a leak. The shit you gotta go through just to find the nearest bathroom. If bathrooms in this game are spaced... Yeah, let's go with that. Spaced like, uh, save rooms are? Or warp rooms? You better be ready to hold it, cause... Cause otherwise you're gonna pee your pants! Dracula's not above peeing his pants, I can tell you that. This music is not appropriate. For this game. Do I just bat my way through it? We're batting a thousand now! <laughs> Sorry. Once in a while, I gotta make a joke like that. I've got- I'm a dad, alright? Like, just... Let me- let me- let me be my- Let me be my dad self. <laughs> let me get down with my dad self. God, this is getting worse. He can't believe he's dead. Oh, no, no, no. Until I find an axe. Or a holy water, we're sticking with this baby. This sweet baby was made in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Wow, lightning never strikes the same horse twice. That's what they say. Okay, this lets me summon the intelligent sword. Except it says intelligence sword. This is so close. You're so close. You just got the wrong form of the word. You need the adjective, not the noun. Oh, I could have helped you, Konami. I could have helped you so much. Let's turn that on. The fairy's not doing shit. Hello, Intelligence Sword. I hope you're ready for an adventure. Why is your graphic so high resolution compared to everything else in this game? Weird door. Uh-oh. What's in here? Is it all rocks? I'm wrecking your whole- It's all rocks! Do your job, sword. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Yo, buddy. Oh, look at the damage. Oh yeah. I know it's only doing like single digits each time, but still. Oh yeah. Uh-oh, all rocks is having a problem. And now we only do one damage. Oh, shit! Feel the burn, baby! Sword, are you doing anything for me? 
You're just hanging around? You're just along for the ride? Alright. It's fine. Okay, I'm starting to take a little more damage than I would like. That's, which is not to say that I'd like to take damage. Okay, let's eat... Let's, let's just munch up a little bit. Uh, what kind of food you got? You got beer, you got grapes, peanuts. That's not that much. That's even less. Wow, the beer was more nutritious than the fruit. Good. Great message to give to the kids. Yeah, my shield is flying away every time I use it. This is new. Okay, Sword was doing a- doing- he's making an effort. Sword's just a little slow on the uptake, that's the problem. Could you settle down? He's definitely entering his next phase. Oh my god, what? Got him. Look at this guy. Yeah. Go back to heaven from whence you came, Morocks. You truly are a gift from above. And that really looks like the Batman icon. Echo, that's the one that lets me use sonar, baby. And that's gonna be it for this segment of Symphony of the Night. I'm Jesse Jace. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>